experiment and today I will show you our new feature uh, with incoming records and SRS mark tab. So I already uploaded some file with uh, created instance holding some items and we need to go to the JSON log screen. So basically what the changes was made in our new feature. We added new tab which called incoming records and basically this is the tab where the all information from the file will be provided uh, without any changes from the system so if you have in file the o one field with this value in camera record will show basically this value uh, and uh, for all kind of the files that uh, was uploaded for example for authority for invoice as so in camera record will contain the information from this file basically the changes that was set by the system for the file for example 001 field or 99 field will be placed in the SRS mark tab so for example as you can see in incoming record we have initially the this kind of value and an SRS mark now we have this kind of value because this uh, HRID for the instance will, was set was uh, settled by the system and also by the system was set up the 99 FFS field and um, basically the so for the instance holding item it will contain the information about the entities will be placed in their tabs and but the uh, information about the incoming file will be placed in incoming record uh, tab also for the created orders we remove the step where we settled the SRS mark. So if you can see, I go to the JSON screen. I don't have any information about the SRS in JSON log for the uh, simple for the simple and alone order creation. I have the information only in order uh, tab for the uh, incoming record and basically for incoming record tab about the information about the order. And the same situation happens with the invoice. So I have the information about the uh, uh, fields that was in incoming file, it, it uh, placed in incoming records. And I have information about the invoice in invoice tab, but no information from the, for the SRS mark or any other tab is not displayed in JSON log. And, uh, but for authorities, for example, we have SRS because authority is needed for, uh, authority is, and needed for SRS when it was created. So, right now, for authority hold, instance holdings and items, we will see the record for basically entity that was created for the incoming file with the data that was in uploaded file and SRS with the data that was settled by the system. And basically, that's all from my side. Thank you guys. Hello everyone and today I will show you our update where we have the multiple match results. So as you can see I already uploaded three files, they are almost the same uh, when I was importing it. They have the names in file 1, 2 and 3 and the only difference that they have is that after the import of all of them three I slightly edited them. So for this guy I add the interstatus term when we edit an instance. For the second guy I added the holdings with uh, annex permanent location and the third one I added uh, holdings too but with online permanent location and after this so they have the same 035 field they have the same name and so on and I created three different job profiles so the first one is looks like this we have the 035 to 035 match after this we have the sub match by insta status term which goes catalogued and after this we have the update of the instance. The second job profile is a little bit easier so we have the 001 to 001 match and after this we have the holdings location sub match uh, and for the matches where it matches it will update holdings with the new holdings type. The third one is the almost the same the different that the previous ones so we have the 035 to 035 match, we have the holdings location sub match, but uh, with the different holdings uh, location name, so for the online. 
and uh, update holdix action. So the already uploaded the three files just to save some time. So the first one we have the updated instance with this chopper file of three five to o three five with the start instance of this term. And as you can see, uh, electro uh, static statistical code type uh, added uh, it was matched. It updated the uh, statistical code type and the instance is updated. The second one I needed to export it because we have the 001 match, so I exported it and I downloaded the uh, file and then imported it with the new geom profiles. And as you can see, we have the new holdings electronic holdings type, holdings type that was mentioned in the action and field method profile for update holdings. And as you can see, the, the, the import was success and completed without the errors. The third one, basically um, the third job profile where we match for 035 and 035 with the second location sub match. And as you can see, the holdings is updated, the holdings type is added, and basically the input is completed without the errors. And that's all that I want to show you for today. Thank you everyone for your time. Hello everyone, and let me show you our new feature, which is called set records for deletion. The first that I want to show is our new permission, which is, co which is called inventory set records for deletion and stuff suppress. And basically this permission allows us to delete the records. So let me save our user, let me log in into our user, and let's go to inventory to see what we can do with this permission so i already uploaded and created two new instances both of them will be set up for deletion and let's check firstly on the folio instance instance what we will we see here in actions menu we got our new option which is called set, set record for deletion when i click this kind of option we'll get this a type of model window are you sure you want to set this record to deletion we have chosen this instance for deletion uh, after the confirming the instance will be stuffed to suppressed uh, if the instance mark or the error will be set to D so uh, if I click cancel nothing will happen but if I click confirm you will see we got this warning message that instance is marked suppressed from discovery and stuff suppress he got the suppress from discovery checkbox set it and stuff suppress checkbox set it and basically not shown in the regular uh, search mode because suppress this from discovery is basically set it as no when we check in it so let be careful with it of course we can um, uh, set it back to uh, not delete it but I will not show you in <laughs> this time the second one is this guy we have this type of instance with the uh, source sequence mark and after I set this instance for deletion it stuff suppress it suppress from discover and in the quick mark we'll see that his field will be set it as D so it's deleted right now but we also can edit it in quick mark we can edit it in here and we can set out uh, these checkboxes back and basically that's all from our new feature and thank you guys for your attention